Hi everyone, hope you are. This is Coins King. I'm just going to dive into XLP. Thank you for your support. So, there's a guy that I've been following for many, many years, and he's put his Elliott Wave count on YouTube yesterday, I believe it was. And uh, he's got a, a, a more broader, um, zoomed out perspective than my Elliott Wave count. So, he's, I think, from what I'm seeing, uh, I think it's something like this one, two, three, four. And he, I think he's looking at a, a cycle high round about here, the fifth wave of around about $5. From what I, from what I, I'm assuming in his video, okay, I, I think that that's what he's looking. at. I'm going to change that to white. So I think that's what Alessio Ristan is looking at. I think he's looking at a cycle top here, around about five dollars plus. So obviously you've got in in here, you, you know, you've got subsets of waves within waves, basically. And right now we've got this one, two, three, four, five, and that's pretty much, you know, I I, I do believe that we've got this wave one, uh, two, three, uh, four, like I've said to you, and then a potential fifth wave, say up there to his target. We change that sub waves to yellow right now. Okay, so you know, valid, absolutely valid. But I wish he'd posted. But the thing I wish he'd posted is the ABC correction projection that he's got. You know, because obviously, as you're fully aware, at the end of each wave you have an ABC correction, and you know, usually with Elliott wave theories and wave five, it extends. You have a larger ABC correction right there, and then you enter. You know, that's the bear market basically, and then you come out the other side of a new Elliott wave structure right here. So, is he saying that this is a cycle high top? Is this is this the end of the bull run right here? I wish he was a little bit more transparent, but it doesn't mean he has to be. But yeah, I mean, is that it? You know, and that would that would kind of tie up with this next impulsive wave, which we are seeing here off this uh, low, off this high just here. We're looking at that impulsive wave. So with the overshoot, potentially, let's say, you know, we get a little bit bullish and we actually get a little bit overextended from the one six weight and, and end up at the two, you know, get the overshoot just there. So is that the, is that the, is that it? Is that it? Is that what we're looking at for XRP in this ball room? You know, this fifth wave here, is that what we're looking at just there at the two, you know, or are we just going to get to the one six one eight just here? You know, not not quite to the five dollars. Are we looking at that fib extension and then entering the bear? So this is all possibilities, isn't it? This is what's in front of us. So let me just drop this larger fib out right now. I'm going to hide that. So yeah, you know, are we not going to get to the two? I would imagine though at this point, you know, you're, to, you, you're potentially going to go quite a little bit parabolic here, you know, but then the wave five is getting larger than wave three. So I don't know. I wish I could tell you. But so far, you know, we are doing some structure. We're looking for continuation. So providing we can keep doing that, you are looking at a minimal, minimal $4.52 price tag for XRP in this bull market. So right here, when we enter the ABC correction, potentially I've, I've got your support target right here. Look, you've got your A, your B, I reckon you might come back down to this trend line. That's your ABC correction done before you start to form a new Elliott wave structure. The one, two, three, four, five could be like a mini little bear market right there for, for XRP and crypto, just like what I've been anticipating. Okay, come down, have a little 64% correction. Well, I'll say little, but this is part of this drunken walk, isn't it? You know, this is this drunken walk that I'm anticipating. This drunken walk coming up the stairs, you know, and then the bears come out the window. You come down to this trend line as you did here, came up, got overextended, hit that trend line, come back down to this as support, have a whopping correction. Everyone thinks we're in the bear, but then that's when we get the continuation, we get the overshoot, and we start pushing onto these projections here for XRP. So is is any way of count is is valid to be honest with you? It's looking feasible uh, in comparison to mine. So yeah, I think that you're looking at that ABC correction at this point coming back down to this trend line. And I did say that to you when I, I spotted these trend lines. Okay, so it's looking absolutely golden. You know, it's looking really really poised. Like we are going to break out here at some point. You know, whether or not we have a little correction here, mini ABC correction, because you can see in each waveform here where we've come back and wave two and wave four. You know, it's quite nasty. But in that we've got subsets of waves and each wave you have a correction so you've got one two three four five overshoot do you see that and then you've had an abc correction within wave four so right now you've had one two potentially you know like this nasty correction come back down to a key level support for continuation you know and then three four five you up here and you've got the end of the wave five just there and it's a larger wave five just like alessio has projected but the, the question is at that point where's the support and i've shown you i think i know where the support is it's this it's going to be the rinse repeat isn't it break this level of resistance boom met that technical target correction down to this level of resistance back testing turn is the point boom target met come up here break that level of resistance get overextended to the 1618 what are you going to do where's your support boom this trend line previous resistance just like this was 
boom, continuation, see you later. You know, nominal 60% correction right there for XRP. So again, this particular trend line, if we come up here and we roll over and everyone thinks we're into in the bear, this could offer a fantastic opportunity moving forward because you're looking at that ABC correction right there down to that green trend line for continuation. You know, and everyone at that point will think we're entering a bear market, but I think th this is the whole point of this slow drunken walk that we're in now for crypto. You know, this sort of parabola, this mania runs that we've got down here, which I've spoken to you about before, is is gone basically, especially for XRP. It's there. It, this this parabola exists in up and coming projects. You know, your smaller cap altcoins, but in the larger projects, this parabola, this mania here, you know, this one massive impulse to twenty seven dollars, it's not going to work like that. It's a slow drunken walk to these projections okay which you know that's the projections and they still exist until you lose the low down here that, that then the, the fib extensions are out the window do you understand that so yeah i mean that's xrp it's looking good it's a long long journey you know it's a long drunken journey i keep saying this to you it's a long long journey it's not going to get there overnight but you are looking at a beautiful impulsive wave up to this four dollars 52 i think you are going to be looking at a new all-time high for xrp in this bull run at that point you know not financial advice but Think about your position in XRP because you will have an ABC correction. It ties up with L LSU's larger um, Elliott Wave Theory, one, two, three, four, five. You know, it's, 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 it's playing out like a box, isn't it? You know, so that's XRP. It's looking good. It's looking golden. It's all about this level of support and resistance at the moment, though. You know, lose that support that I've given you at 104. You're looking at a correction. I've given you support targets. Break that resistance there for XRP. And you're looking at, you know, getting a party started and looking at a new impulsive wave to the upside here. I think it's 157. And with that, you're really getting the party started. And you're breaking out of, you know, you're coming up to this green trend line here, which I'll remind you, let me tidy this up. Let's hide that is a technical target of a cup and handle okay so you've got cup and handles within cup and handles you've got a large one just there look you break that level of resistance you're up there at our technical target four dollars fifty plus yeah just like you broke this one look let me show you so you broke this previous uh level of resistance in this cup and handle just there look boom remind you so you came up you came up you came back to create the handle you pass off key level support came back up and as soon as you broke that trend line you have one big impulsive move up look and look at that when you broke that that technical target boom target met do you see that like a boss creating another level of resistance which is a new trend line which we fell back to as support bounced off we break this trend line come up here 450 you're going to come back down there to this trend line in an abc correction again lose that you could be looking at this trend line as an abc correction a deep correction a bear market basically let's have a look some from this eye here you know this trend line will be around about 60 percent that trend line will be around about 90 percent so it's one or the other isn't it in a bear market but again millionaires made in bear markets remember that so that's xrp take care everyone back soon with another update on xrp stay healthy stay strong thank you for support take care bye bye